and I'm sharing my screen. Okay, so I'll go back to the you know documentation that is Azure RBAC. And I think uh, yesterday I have shared this particular specific document. I'm not sure how many of you gone through it. Okay. So now here, if you see, okay, when you go to this particular you know, documentation page here, uh, let's see how to minimize this. Okay. You can see my screen, right? Hello. Yes, yes, we can see your screen. Yeah, we can. Believe. All right, okay. So I was just, you know, wondering, okay, no response from others, okay. Okay, so now if you see here, so here you could see, you know, uh, see guys, so you know, whenever I'm saying certain documents, right, I strongly wanted you to go through it, read it and prepare, uh, you know, separate notes for yourself. Okay, when I say Azure are back, okay, so you can go through this particular, you know, technical definition. So access management for the cloud resources is a critical function for any organization that is using the cloud. So Azure RBAC, that is role-based access control. RBAC is nothing but role-based access control. Helps you to manage who has access to Azure resources and what they can do with those resources and what areas they have to access to. That means, okay, we can restrict the people, okay, to do these certain things and, and we can restrict the people not to do these particular certain things. Okay, so with the specific, you know, RBAC roles. So here uh, we just uh, said we have seen some of the you know RBAC roles, right? Uh, so we just seen some of the general roles yesterday. That is owner, contributor, and reader. So today we are going to see you know some more uh, extra roles and how they are you know uh, useful. Okay, so within your you know uh, subscription level. So if you see here, this was a hierarchy which we have discussed yesterday, and we have created a subscription and we have granted a permission to the users on a subscription level. Okay, so today, uh, today we'll see, you know, we can also restrict the users. Okay, instead of giving an access on a subscription level, we can grant a permissions on a resource group level also. And at the same time, we can give an access on a resource level also. So we, I'm going to show you certain, you know, demos today. Okay, how, let's say for example, if I give an access to certain user on a resource group level, okay, how his access levels looks like. Same with, you know, if I give an access on a resource level, how his, you know, access levels looks like. So we'll see in detail with the labs. Okay, so this was a hierarchy we discussed. Okay, so we'll be having certain, you know, uh, uh, coming back to the groups. Okay, so uh, what are those groups? Okay, we'll see later. But here you could see multiple role assignments. Okay, contributor, reader, and what uh, what they can do. Right. So here, uh, not this one. I just want to show you. Okay, so here you could see the complete details. Okay, how to give an access to the portal. I mean, uh, to a user using a portal. So instead we have seen, okay, grant a user access to Azure resources using the portal. So this is what we have seen, right? So by creating any resource, this I'm going to show you today. For every resource, okay, you'll be having this specific, specific option. But in addition to that, okay, so let's go to the level definitions. Not this one. Maybe I have seen an Azure subscription overview. Yeah, I think here it is. Okay, here you could see create your initial subscription. Okay, how to create your initial subscription? You can go through this document. And I think I have shared this particular document yesterday. Okay. And uh, Naming and define naming conventions. Hold on. So here itself. That's okay. I'll quickly straight away show you in the subscription blade itself. Okay, so here I have I'm into the one more subscription. I think my is the subscription which I was using yesterday, it's got expired. So maybe uh here is a new subscription. So here you could see uh, when I go to the IEM. Okay, so when I go to this particular role assignments, okay, so here I could see uh, overall having what access, right? 
So similarly, when I go to the roles here, okay, we'll see these particular roles and uh, we'll talk about this classic administrator. Okay. Uh, the role what you're seeing, right? Like maybe like, you know, a uh, service administrator. Okay. So we have a different type of roles. Okay. So maybe let me go, navigate from here itself. Yeah. Yeah. So this is called, you know, classic administrator. So as a classic administrator, okay, so this classic administrator can manage the uh, subscription billing level activities. Okay, let's say, you know, since you have created this particular subscription by default, okay, your, uh, you know, role will be given with a service administrator. By default, okay, will be given with a service administrator. And you can make as a co-admin also some other else. So whatever the activities that you can perform, they can also do the similar activities. Let's say, for example, if I, if at all, if I wanted to go ahead and, you know, cancel this particular subscription. Okay, so being as a owner, I can also do that. But if you, if I wanted to do something else, like, you know, let's say, for example, if I wanted to upgrade it to certain pay as you go model. Okay, so it will not allow me to do that. Okay, here you could see only account administrators can upgrade the subscriptions. Okay, ask your account administrator to upgrade your subscription to the pay as you go model. Because here I'm just as a owner, I'm not an account administrator. Okay. So all these subscription level activities, like, you know, let's say for creating a subscription or maybe like, you know, canceling the subscription or upgrading the subscription. Okay, those can be done by using this particular classic administrator. As a classic administrator, so we have these particular three roles. One is like a service administrator and one more is like, you know, as we have discussed here, uh, what, what was that? Yeah, so co-admin. Okay, so if you wanted to make somebody as a co-administrator, so here, when you click on add, so here you could see, make him as a, co-administrator okay so this privileges i might be not having i guess so we need to add a user let's say if i choose any one of the user okay and i can add him let's see yeah they have to be into, the, into this particular directory okay so we'll discuss this later then but for now just to give in a high level uh, things when you create a subscription by default your role will be coming as a service administrator which is part of classic administrator so here yesterday we were discussing about the some of the inbuilt roles so these are like you know built-in roles okay so by default okay so when you create a subscription so these are all the roles okay which are coming by default so these are these are the roles okay defined by microsoft okay so the top three general roles okay we have discussed yesterday that is owner contributor and reader so can somebody tell me what is the you know uh, being as a owner what are the things i can do and what is the difference be between full access will be full access and as a owner okay being a contributor you'll, you will be having you'll be able to manage the uh, uh, like manage the resources but we can't uh, give an uh, access uh, i mean access to the, uh, we can't change the access yeah so he cannot grant a permission to the new users yes yeah so that is the only difference and what about a reader reader is only we can read the uh, he can view he, he can view the yeah. he will be having only view permissions okay yeah so these three are like a general view the resources exactly and these three are like a general roles okay as you could see owner contributor and trader okay so in addition to that we have seen some of the categories right okay so when we have seen okay let me do, try to duplicate this window Still loading, just a second. Uh, maybe you can just be on mute if you're not speaking. I can hear some background issue. So I'll shall I join again? Uh not required. Why is clarity a lesson? Uh sir. Oh, okay. Is it for everybody? Yes, yes. That's the reason I thought my network sites. I thought so. That's the reason I'll join, join again. I told. Oh, sorry. My bad. Is it better now? Yes, it is now. Okay. But going forward, it will be the same. Oh. In between, if you get a, such a difficulty, okay, let me know. I'll try to uh, switch back to my network, okay? Another sure, network. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah. Okay. So uh, maybe you can be on mute. Uh, I'm able to hear a huge noise. Yeah. 
thank you uh what i was uh, telling sorry i forgot yes you were telling the role assignments i mean the access controls exactly exactly so here so when you go to this particular all services right so we have seen all the different uh, you know type of services along with the category okay so we have a different you know roles also specific to these categories okay if i go to my you know same roles tab whatever the roles we discussed that is owner contributor and reader they are like a general roles but remaining categories you could see container and maybe okay integration and maybe like a monitoring security and uh, you know some of the roles okay if you keep coming down okay some of the roles related to the only storage and some of the roles okay related to certain compute okay let's say here i'll say uh what's our mission and maybe let me keep it like this yeah so here you could see some of the roles okay which are related to virtual mission that means on a virtual mission level if you wanted to give an access to the uh, certain users okay instead of you giving an access on a subscription level okay we can give an access only on this particular specific resource level also okay so here you could see uh, it is saying that you know virtual mission administrator so what this particular role can do here you could see so virtual mission in the portal and a login as an administrator he can do by having this particular privilege and a user login and some things you can do same way let's say if i tell if i wanted to give some roles on a storage account level okay and here you could see these are all the roles related to the storage and you could see like you know storage account backup and storage account contributor data owner reader okay so many roles you could see similarly let's say for example if you wanted to give some roles on a database level okay so you can just you know uh, search with the database and here you could see the category for the database these are all the roles okay which we have currently have for the database okay so these are all the roles okay uh, we are discussing on a subscription level okay when i go back here let's say if i given access to any user on a subscription level what will happen is let me put it here what type of roles we discussed so we have discussed about the owner contributor and reader right okay so these are all the roles okay what we are doing okay we are assigning on a subscription level the same roles okay we can assign on the resource group level also when i give a, these particular specific roles on a subscription level what will happen is he will be having an access to all this resource group which are present under my subscription and and at the same time he will be having an access to the resources also because this resource groups as well as the resources are under this particular specific subscription okay let's say uh, i have a requirement let's say for example i have a specific resource group only for the databases okay i have a database team and i don't wanted to give an access to on an entire subscription level and i wanted to restrict his permissions for granting a permissions on only on a database resource group level let's say in this resource group let's say for example let's take this one in this resource group i have a sql database and let's say i have some 20 databases and the user whom i am going to give an access he need to manage those 20 databases and i don't want this user to be you know having an access to the rest of the resources i can restrict the permissions on a resource group level also same way let's say if you wanted to grant a permissions on a specific uh, resource let's say only on a sql db and we can do that also so let's see how we can you know restrict the permissions and uh, what level of permission should you okay that level of permissions you will get let's say for example if i give a owner access on a subscription level what he will be having is he can create the resource groups delete the resource groups create the resources and delete the resources and he can grant a permission to the new users also being as a owner but being as a contributor he cannot grant a permission to the new users but he can create and delete the resources and resource groups but being as a reader he will be having only view access to the resource groups as well as the resources now let's see the same roles okay i will you know give it on a resource group level okay so let's see what will happen and how they looks like okay so this time i don't wanted to give this particular you know permissions on the subscription level i wanted to give an access only on the 
resource group level so let's go ahead and validate here now so let's say i'll go back to my subscription so which i log in with as a azure ramakrishna at gmail.com okay i'll go to my iam and i'll try to give an access to one of the another email account which i have created yesterday i'll show you the differences let's say here uh, i'll give it as a contributor and i will give my email id that is ag september 2021 at outlook.com okay and this is an account and i have chosen it and this particular user might be getting an invite and he has to accept it i'll go back here so this is my outlook account so let's see uh, did i get the invite here or not so let me quickly do a refresh here yes here we go i have an invite which is still loading and by the way my voice is clear right please do uh, yes 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 yeah feel free to, to stop me in between if you face any issues so it was a uh, heavily raining here so that's the reason uh, i have some network issue today uh, sorry for that but let me accept this invite and <coughs> excuse me uh, here okay i just accepted this invite and here i have an access as a owner okay so i don't want any tour here and uh, if i go to my subscription you can just click on it here if not here you could search it as a subscription and on my subscription level i have given a specified access that is i will be having a contributor access so being as a contributor let's see what else i can do okay so if i go here to my resource groups okay so here i can create the resource groups and delete the resource group and we have seen some of the activities yesterday right so these are all the resource group somebody has created under this particular subscription but uh, since you have created a subscription just now you might not have anything you have to go ahead and you know create a resource groups to see the resource groups here same with within the resource groups you will be creating the resources and here you could see some of the resources somebody has created it so for today just for the demo what i'm going to do is i'll create a one resource group here and within that resource group i will create a resource also and we'll see the difference okay what how the differences look like so here i'm going to create a new resource group called i say demo or back okay so because i am going to show you the difference uh, demo for the role based access control i'll just simply say demo or back and i'm giving the east trace as a you know location and i'll just simply create it i was able to you know create this particular resource group because i'm having a contributor access and here you could see i have created a demo or back you know this particular resource group here i'm having an access on a subscription level that is the reason i was able to do everything let's say if at all if i wanted to see all the resources which are present under my subscription i can click on this particular all resources and here i could see these are all the resources which are present under my subscription good so now what i will do is since i am having an access on a subscription level i was able to do anything okay now what i will do is i will restrict this particular user access okay to a specific resource group i'll go to the role assignments and this is the user right and i will delete this user from here from the subscription level considering this particular example here i am given access to the subscription level as a contributor and i don't want to give the access on a subscription level i wanted to restrict the access on the resource group level only let's see what will happen so i'll go here i'm done with the removing the access yes if i go to the resource groups so currently okay i'm having these many resource groups right okay i wanted to give an access to only this resource group let's say what will happen is if i give an access to only to this resource group it will be not able to see the rest of the resource groups let's see what uh, how it looks like so if you wanted to give an access on a only resource group level same go to the resource group okay here you could say this is the resource group same you can go to this con uh, access control that is iam and here you can do the same thing click on add add role assignment and i wanted to give this particular user as a contributor same here also so being as a contributor again he can create the resources and delete the resources 
within the resource group. So let's say uh, I will give the same email ID back again. Okay, I will choose this and I will save it. So this this time, considering this example, I'm not giving an access on a subscription level. I'm just giving an access on a resource group level. You can give any one of the access, either you can give the owner, either you can give the contributor, either you can give the reader. But just to show you certain demos, okay, I'm just going with the contributor access. If I give a reader access on a resource group level, he will be having a only view access to this particular specific resource group. Let's come back here. To reflect the changes, what I will do is I will do a refresh here. Okay. So sometimes, okay, to load this particular page, okay, we might get some errors. Okay, so let's uh, change it. Uh, one second, guys, I'm getting a call. Yeah, sorry, uh, there was some emergency call. Yeah. So here, if you see, this time I have given access to the resource group level, right? So if I go to the subscription, let's see how my access looks like. Here, okay, it is showing that, you know, resource access. And when I go to the subscription level, okay, I will not be allowed to do anything. Can you see? State of it is giving unauthorized and nothing is showing here for me. Okay, and uh, everything is coming as unauthorized, 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 because I have given access on a resource group level, not on the subscription level. Okay, when I give an access on a resource group level, he will be able to perform whatever the role you have given on this particular specific resource group. Let's say, for example, let's say, okay, I don't have anything on a subscription level. Let me go to the resource groups. Okay, so here you could choose the resource group, or else you can go to the portal menu. And here you could see the resource groups. Click on it. And can you see now? I was able to see only one resource group, but in general, in this particular subscription, I have completely four resource groups, but I am having access to only one resource group because I have restricted my permission to this particular specific resource group itself. Okay, so that is the one thing I can do that. And since here I am having a contributor role. Okay, so since I'm having a contributor role, being as a contributor, I can create the resources within the resource group, right? Let's see, can I do it or not? I'll try to create a one sample storage account here. Okay, so I say storage account. So to create any resources, okay, we do like this only. Uh, what you can do is probably you can just click on this particular Azure portal menu. And here you could just click on this particular create a resource. If at all, if you wanted to create any new resources, and let's say I wanted to create a storage account, right? So I can just type a storage account. And I can choose this storage account and it will navigate me to the storage account creation page. And here I can just you know, click on this particular option. Don't worry about the storage account. Okay, we are gonna discuss it later, but just to show you some demos. Okay, I'm just choosing the you know, sample storage account. And here I will give some name. Let's say I'll name it as a AG September 2021 storage account something. And I'll go with the default uh, options for each other. And here I will just simply say review and create. I think validation failed. Okay, so why validation failed means, okay, I don't have access to these resource groups. I have an access to only to this particular resource group. Okay, so that's the reason validation failed. Yeah, it is va validated. And let me click on create. And now if you see, so being as a contributor on a specific resource group, I'm able to create the resources under the specific resource group itself. But if I have a reader access, I will be not able to do anything. So though if you see, 
even if i go to this particular resource group back again i was able to see only you know uh, only one single resource group and the resource what i have created just now so let's say once it is created i should be able to see that particular storage account here under this particular resource group according to this hierarchy what i was doing here now resource group and within a resource group i just created a resource called storage account so it is still deploying let's wait for it yeah it is done okay so let me do refresh back again okay sometimes what will happen is okay yeah it will take some time okay to refresh this page and this is the storage account which i have created so considering these since i'm having access on a resource group level i'm able to see the resources within that particular resource group also now let's say if i give access to only on a resource level i can't even able to see the resource groups also let's see how we can do that okay so this time what i'm going to do is so here okay i wanted to give the reader access onto this particular one of the resource called storage account what i have created okay i'll go to this particular uh, my account where i log in with my you know azure ramakrishna where i have the complete access here i will remove that user from the resource group also so if at all if you wanted to remove that user from the resource group level access also you need to come back here and from here okay you need to remove him okay this is the contributor I just simply say remove now what i have done i have removed the access from the resource group level also this time i am going to give the access and a resource group resource level that is the storage account what i have created and i will provide the reader access not even a contributor okay and we'll see how his access levels looks like i'll go back here and if i do a refresh that account will be deleted yes and i'll go to this, this particular resource group and within the resource group i have this particular storage account and i wanted to give access only for the resource level now so even on a resource level also if you wanted to give an access here i have a access control click on it and go to add add role assignment and choose the role here as a reader we'll see this time being as a reader he will be not allowed to do anything right let's see how uh, how it looks like i'll say ag september 2021 at like uh, outlook.com so this is my account and i'll choose it i'll save it yeah now i'm done with adding the role and this time what i have done i have given access only on a one resource level that is storage account level one now if I, if i go back to that particular portal i don't even have an access to the resource group level and a subscription level also i will not be able to see anything i should be able to see only one single storage account let's see how it looks like i'll come back here into the that account where i have an access and let me do refresh on the top just to reflect the changes okay so let me validate the access and a subscription level i'm clicking on the subscription and here you could see i'm having a resource level and i'm unauthorized okay and i'll go to the resource groups you can directly click on it else you can go to the portal menu here you could see the option for the resource groups else you can click on this particular you can type for the resource groups here also and can you see now i'm not able to see anything because i don't have an access on any one of the resource group also i am having only access in a one single resource that is storage account okay i'm not able to see anything now since i'm having access in a resource, uh, resource level i'll go to the portal menu let's see what are all the resources i have an access i'll click on the resource okay so it is sometimes okay to paste the details okay it may take some time but if you see i'm able to see only one single storage account when i go to this all resources tab i'm able to see only one single storage account but in my original account original subscription when i go to the all resources i'm able to the all the list of resources what i have in my subscription okay 
so this is how how we can restrict the permissions but here let's see since i have given a reader access right here let's see being as a reader i mentioned you like you know being as a reader he can't do anything let's see that so let's say within the storage account don't worry about this storage account operations okay we are going to discuss later just to show you like you know being as a reader he cannot do anything okay let's say i wanted to create a one container so let's say for example i'll name it as a test and if i click on create ideally it should not allow him to create it and i think okay it is not re, you know uh, properly reset so let's do that again back what was the role i have given here read alone right yes you have given same reader okay so let me do the refresh back again sometimes okay when you you know grant those roles right okay to reflect the changes might take couple of seconds and let's say this time i will give try to give the test one okay and i'll say create i should be getting an error can you see now earlier okay it was having some problem refreshing the page because we ha we had a, a contributor access on a resource group level right so those changes might not reflected but when you go here fail to create a storage container okay here you could see fail to create a container test one the client okay this particular user age is september 21 every user will be having an object id how to check a user object id i will show you later does not have authorization to perform the action okay that means okay you do not have the privileges okay to create a whatever the operation that i'm going to do because he is having only reader access okay so being as a reader he cannot do anything let's say here i have created this right so let me try to delete this so he can't even delete all anything also i'll say click on delete i'll say okay can you see he is not able to delete it also okay authorization failed so being as a reader he, he cannot do anything not only here so even if you have a, uh, access to all the resources under the uh, subscription level also he will be not able to do anything he will be having only view access okay so these are the different ways methods okay we can you know restrict the access to the users either on a subscription level but when you given access on a subscription level he will be having a access to all the resource groups and the resources with the respect to role what we have provided okay but if you given access on a only on this particular specific you know uh, uh, what do you call a resource group level okay so you will be able to have a access on a resource group level as a resource level with the respect to role same with the resources so we can't we uh, add him uh, can can't we add resource group as a owner we can add let's uh, let's show that yeah. i'll go back here so for this particular resource uh, storage account i have given him as a reader right let me change him delete from there and uh, let me try to add him as a owner i'll go to the role assignments this is the user right and i'll remove it let me go back to the storage account i mean uh, resource group i'm sorry and i'm going with the same resource group and here if you add him as a owner what will happen is he can give access to the new user okay let's say i'll click and add role assignment i'll choose the role as a owner and let me choose it here ag september 2021 at outlook.com and i'll save it so being as a contributor what will happen is specific to this resource group he cannot give an access but since he is a owner now he can give an access to the resource group level now i'll go here let me do refresh to reflect the changes sometimes if if you're not able to see anything i would recommend you to sign out and sign it back again okay so that you know all the changes will be replicated properly i'm just signing it out and i will log in back again okay i'm using the same account and let me pass my password okay so if i try to see my access on as a resource uh, subscription level still i will be getting unauthorized and i will be having a, you know access on a resource level and if i go to the resource groups i will be having an access to only one single resource group because i was given access to only one single resource group so sometimes okay you might get this type of errors okay it is because 
the page is not loaded properly and if you see here i'm having an access and i only resource group level and since i'm having a owner access here i can grant a permission to the new users only on this particular resource group when i click on add can you see i'm getting an option to add a new user also here but being as a contributor or reader you cannot do okay that is the only difference here okay okay so can you yeah. like you can we uh, like in in now we are in a resource group right yes in that can you uh, like view this uh, like uh, can you add changes in this containers or anything yes yes you can do so let's say for example being as a owner or contributor you can do anything right let's say yes. yeah i'll go here i'll go to the owner being as a reader you cannot do but being as a owner or a contributor he can do anything let's show you that here okay i'll go to this particular service and here we have created this container right i'll delete it okay click on okay you'll be able to delete let me try to create one new okay i'll say create one more okay this time i'll give demo not the test and create it you'll be able to do being as a contributor and owner you will be able to do the all the operations the only difference is granting of permission owner will be having a you know granting of permission to the new user but contributor will not have okay with respect to the okay. kind of, kind of stage when you have this particular similar roles on a subscription level you can do everything under the subscription but when you have this role in a specific uh, storage i mean resource group level or any specific resource level you will be restricted to do certain activities what this role can do only on this particular stage okay okay so this is very important guys if you don't understand it okay feel free to you know uh, unmute yourself and ask me again but so we can subscriptions in subscriptions on only in subscriptions you can add uh, i mean add anything i mean add delete make changes in owner so in resource group if you add owner uh, like we can add uh, resources or delete or no no when you uh, have a respect to owner contributor access on a subscription level also you can create the resource groups you can create the resources also okay yeah so the, whatever the hierarchy we have right under this whatever we, uh, with respect to that role okay whatever we have it here you can do it okay so it might be if if the resource group person is also an owner you can add uh, delete new and yes new user and you can access exactly. so contributor in the sense you can only uh, like uh, make create changes and, create yes create and delete and make changes uh, to the resources, resources but you cannot you know grant a permission to the new user okay okay grant a permission to the new user in the sense like for uh, giving you access to the new user on a resource group level he cannot do that okay 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 okay, okay. Oh, yeah okay. okay so these are the different you know general roles okay that we have okay so for you know uh, we call it as our back roles which are very important okay so we call it as a our back that is role based access control okay so maybe some of sometimes okay in interviews you might get a question okay so what you uh, know what is meant by our back that is role based access control by using that uh, feature we can you know grant a permission to the users and we can you know restrict the users and we have different type of roles and as a general roles we have a owner contributor and reader and they might ask you can i give these roles only on a subscription level no we can give these roles on a resource group level and a resource level also so by default okay when you give these roles on a subscription level these roles are by default applicable to the resource group and resource level also because according to this hierarchy you are directly granting this permissions to the subscription only okay so this is pretty much about this particular roles that is our back okay and uh, let me switch back to the subscription so this is my subscription and we have seen some of the options here for renaming the subscription and uh, you know uh, cancelling the subscription and i think uh, somebody uh, helps it right okay you you might have clicked on this particular uh, option right for cancelling it and once you cancel it yeah you will be getting a, re a reactivate option here itself okay and we have seen what if somebody done some activity so till now we have uh, done some activities right you will be able to see all those activities here now let's see that 
I have granted a permission on a resource group level, resource level, and I have created a resource group. I have created a storage account. All these activities will be captured here now. Let's see that. So which okay, is still uh, loading. Yes. Meanwhile, so now this is azuramkrishna at gmail.com is there. Next, another account you have, uh, uh, Azure September 2020. So that is a mail ID you have created or uh, even that is also an account or how it is? Yeah, that was a sample email uh, email ID. You don't need to okay, okay. have a uh, account already existing with that uh, email ID. So, okay. yeah. So if, if you do not have an account, okay, so you will be getting an invitation like this, what, what I was showing yesterday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So you just need to accept that invitation. Very simple. Okay. Okay. Once you get accept this invitation, you will be given a permission to that particular subscription with respect to role what you are granted. So here, okay, okay, I have granted with a minimum owner contributor reader, right? So those will be applicable. Okay. So if you see here, using this user account, me being as a owner, I have deleted the blob container and I created a blob container, right? And here, okay, if you see. I have, you know, created a storage account and I have granted a permission to the user. Okay, here you could see, uh, create a role assignment and, uh, you know, delete the role assignments. So these are all the activities I have done, right? So just, you know, 10, 15 minutes back. So everything, okay, create a role assignment, delete the role assignment, update the resource group, create the resource group. So these are all the things I have done. So each and every activity will be captured here under this particular activity log if at all if you wanted to download it you can down, download it as a csv file good so so here okay we have seen this particular roles okay maybe let me quickly go through this particular document also so the beauty in the microsoft document is uh, microsoft portal is so whenever you are navigating to any one of the option okay if you wanted to know more details about this particular you know feature you will be having a link for this particular documentation directly which i really like it so here you could see, okay, a list of other role definitions. If I come down, okay, here they will show you, okay, very clearly, the, you know, this is what we discussed, right? So these are the roles we have. So we have a building reader. So if somebody wants to uh, maintain the only buildings, you can see the role. And uh, let's say, how to assign the roles, probably can go here, okay, to see. How, to, how we can assign the role. So in general, okay, in the, in the enterprises, okay, within organization, you might see the, you uh, know, this many number of roles. Okay, somebody will be having a, uh, uh, you know, cont owner, somebody will be having a contributor and somebody will be having a cost management reader. This is one of the, you know, role, you can check it in the role option. Okay, and how to do that, how to give it, okay, you can just go through this document. You will be having a step-by-step. -step. Okay, so I just wanted to show you or the complete, you know, list of roles. Yeah, list role definitions. Uh, one could built in roles, yeah. This is what I'm looking for. So here, okay, so whatever the roles, okay, I was seeing, right? So to completely 120 built in, built in roles we have. So contributor, owner, and reader, you can see the respective description, okay? And under a complete category, so we have these many roles. Okay, so what's the mission? Compute is nothing but uh, on a server level, what's the mission level? So these are other roles. Right? For the networking people, so we have these many roles. Okay, they can perform the access only on the networking level. And for the storage account level, okay, we have this type of, you know, roles. You can just go through this particular document. I'll, I'll say this particular document, just go through it. Okay, so I'll come back here. And this is pretty much about role. And these are all like a, built-in roles and let's say if you have some uh, requirement okay to create a custom role let's say whatever the role you have okay so it is not you know uh, achieving your you know requirement you wanted to give an access to certain user and you wanted to give a separate you know storage account reader and a subscription level i need a separate role called storage account reader okay so apart from this built-in roles, if you wanted to create a custom role, okay, considering your uh, own, you know, what do you call requirement, we can go ahead and do that also. So if you wanted to see the, you know, a role definition of this particular file, such a JSON file, let's say I can go to this particular view option. And under this, you could see what are all the permissions this particular user uh, no, role have. Everywhere he, this role have a 
read 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 here you could see completely read permissions and if you go to the gist json file here you could see the under accents you will be having only read permissions okay so similarly if i wanted to create a new custom role i can come back to this particular check access here and if i come down here i could see create a custom role if you wanted to go through the document go here you will be having a step by step document how to create a custom role so for now i'll just show you a basic thing don't for uh, don't worry about this particular json file i'll show you how we can do it i'll come back here i'll click on add here i'm creating a new custom role okay so here i'm just naming this particular custom role as a let's say storage reader okay and here i'm saying you know start from scratch are you wanted to clone a role okay so if you wanted to clone a role you can choose it okay any one of the role you wanted let's say i'll take any one of the role called storage okay one second guys okay sorry guys uh here okay let's say uh, i'll take a you know uh, any one of the storage account contributor okay so when i click on next here you could see the, all the permissions okay so these are the permissions this particular role has but i can edit it okay so if you wanted to edit this particular permissions okay so you can do on a next page or probably can do that on a json file okay so i'm assigning this particular uh, role on this particular subscription level okay this is the id of the subscription and when i go to the json so here i can click on edit so here under actions let's say uh, what i will do is so these are all the actions you can do that means okay so let me try to delete these all the actions okay i wanted to keep only read access let me drag him down yeah okay so this is the storage and storage accounts and instead of this okay i will keep it in as a read let's remove all of this okay so these are the services okay so don't worry about this okay i'm just giving a action just to have a storage account and here i will just keep him as a reader okay and i'm done with it i'll say review and and i think these are all the permissions we can is getting already i think it is not saved one second guys it is not saved i need to save it i think okay so let's remove this i need to click on edit here first and then i have to edit it i'm removing everything and i'm just keeping as a storage reader and here i'll say reader okay let me remove this also that's fine and even in the previous i think how to make save change here let's see am i missing anything okay not the reader i need to say only read hold on Okay. Let me try to save it back again. Mall form JSON. What happened? Hmm. 
maybe let me put the one more and here hit the star one second yes okay i'm checking here i'm assigning the scope this is my subscription id this is good and uh, description i can leave it and here i'm keeping microsoft storage storage accounts and i'm keeping read good only one second let me try to delete this rest of the stuff also one second i'll go with the first okay let me rename this particular you know storage reader okay maybe that icon might be not taking and i wanted to clone it from the existing option i say storage i will take the one of the role which is already having a storage account and i say here i'll say storage account contributor i will take and here into the assignment scope i'll go with the same subscription and this page i wanted to edit let's edit it properly now okay so there i'm keeping the capital letter letters it should be small letter so that's what the mistake i'm making okay so now i can do is let's remove this entire stuff and i'll just simply say did and i can save it and maybe let me remove this put it this time i don't need any comma here at the end yeah so now i'm able to do it and let me save it so i'm just created one uh, role that is custom role naming as a storage reader okay so if you wanted to see that role you can go back to this role option and here under the category okay so not under category under the type i'm able to see the built-in roles as well as the custom roles so these are all the built-in roles okay what you could see here now okay but let's see the custom role now okay when i go to the custom role so let's wait for it so it will take some time to reflect here and here i have storage reader and I, I can assign this particular, you know, uh, you know, role to any one of the user. And that user will be having only read access only on the storage accounts. Okay, let me try to give this access to one of the user what I have created. I'll go here, I'll add. And this time role, I will choose it as a storage reader, what I have created. And let me choose that particular user account. I just say AJ September 2021 and the data output.com and i'll choose it and let me delete that particular user from the resource group from the this particular resource group as a owner in the meanwhile i'll go here this time i have straight away added him as a you know yeah so he's having a storage reader let me remove him from this particular resource group as a owner and if i go back to this particular new account that is easy september 2021 let me do rephrase and if i go to the story uh, subscription i should be able to see this particular role called storage reader is having a resource access no uh, let's see he will be getting as a storage reader it is not replaced properly Okay, so anyways, okay, is not unauthorized. If I go to the all resources, okay, so though he will be able to see only one storage account only, okay, though I have given access on a subscription level. If you see here, I have given a access on a subscription level as a storage reader, but he will be able to see only one storage account. Okay, so here I have given access for the only storage reader, right? So being as a reader, he cannot do anything. Okay, so let's say for example, let me check the his access level okay i'll go to the iam and if i go to the role assignments 
okay so it is giving the role no role assignments because okay he will be having a storage data not in a specific resource level like if you given access on a specific resource level he will be able to see but since we have created separate role only for the storage accounts he will be he cannot see that and since i have given a reader access right for the storage account level. so this time if you see the difference i have created a new role and i have assigned a subscription level though he will be able to see only storage accounts because i have created a role only specific to those those resources if i come back here and if i try to do create something let's say test he cannot do it because he will be having a read access probably it is not reflected properly let me do refresh since we are giving multiple roles and keep changing uh, you know roles right the uh, page will not be refreshed properly so that's the reason okay you'll be able to do it let me try to delete it back you'll be able to do it no so ideally it should not happen because i have given a reader access so yeah probably we'll see that but yes okay in general so having this role okay you'll be not able to do that and this is what i wanted to cover it for today okay on a high level about the our back roles these are all very important i'm going to share you the specific you know more details related to i mean regarding this with respect to documentation just go through it without fail and i will be stopping my recording here if you have any questions you can